Hallelujah! Hallelujah! It's another Friday, another Friday evening, covenant time with God in Amazing Fire Global Ministry Service. Welcome. And can you just do uh, somebody a favor, somebody a kindness and a good by inviting them in, send the link, call them, remind them, say, hey, it's service time. It's change time. It's a counter time with God. Remind them to join in. Hallelujah. Also, send in your prayer requests. Send in your uh, testimonies. We like to celebrate with you just like we like to pray with you. Praise the Lord. So we pray with you. We celebrate with you. Send in those prayer requests and send in your testimonies. Praise the Lord. Today is a great day. God is already set to do mighty things for us, through us, we believe God for it. Because any time in God's presence is never wasted. God is always prepared to release good, to do great things, to touch us divinely in salvation, healing, and deliverance. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. We are going to receive God tonight in a different dimension, higher dimension of glory. We will accent tonight. And I want us to pray as always. Let's do our opening prayer. And we're going to be using Romans chapter 8, verse 1 and 2 to do our opening prayer tonight. Before we go on to praise and worship, where we experience another meeting with God as he inhabits our praises. So what does Romans chapter 8, 1 to 2 say? It said, There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. What is these verses of scripture saying? It's saying when you walk in your carnal nature, there is a law that makes you a habitual sinner. That law is called the law of sin and death. It makes you a habitual sinner who is condemned to death. But if you have given your life to Jesus Christ, if you have decided not to walk according to the flesh, according to carnality anymore, but to walk according to Jesus, in obedience to Jesus and the way of righteousness, what happens? The law of spirit of life, which is the Christ Jesus, sets you free from that law that makes you a, a habitual sinner. It destroys that spirit of the sin and death in you. And the spirit of life in Christ Jesus, we now, after setting you free, we begin to enable you to walk in, in, in the spirit. You begin to walk in obedience. It helps you. It uh, propels you. It motivates you. It enables you to walk in obedience to Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Say, Father, I have surrendered my life to you today. Even if you haven't surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, I'm calling you to it now. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to, to you. Jesus, I surrender my life to you. Therefore, the law of sin and death is no more in my life. I rebuke that spirit of sin and death. That spirit, that law that makes me a habitual sinner. I rebuke it and break loose from it. I receive Jesus as my Lord and personal Savior. And I receive the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. To begin to help me to walk rightly going forward. To enable me to walk according to the Spirit going forward. To help me to walk in obedience to Jesus Christ. Father, that is our prayer today. That the Spirit of life in Christ Jesus will help us to live according to your perfect will and plan for our lives. In the name of Jesus. Father, we receive that power. We receive that enablement. We receive that anointing. We receive that grace. In Jesus Mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. Let's praise and worship and let us enjoy the presence of the Lord as it inhabits us today. Amen. Praise God. 